Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 1st of August 1714, George, the Elector of Hanover, became King George I of Great Britain. George's mother, Sophia, was a granddaughter of King James I of England, while his father, Ernest Augustus, was the Elector of Hanover. George succeeded his father as Elector on his death in 1698, and three years later, in 1701, became third in line to the English throne after Parliament passed the Act of Settlement. This Act was designed to ensure a Protestant succession to the throne in case Princess Anne, who would later become Queen Anne, had no surviving heirs. Bypassing Anne's exiled Catholic half-brother James Edward Stuart, as well as a further 50 other Catholic claimants, the Act made George's mother Sophia the heiress after Anne. Sophia died in spring 1714, putting George second in line to the English throne. Queen Anne died just a few months later on the 1st of August, and the Whig politicians in Westminster, fearful that the Tories still held broad support for James, moved quickly to proclaim George king. The new monarch arrived in England on the 18th of September, accompanied by two mistresses and a reported 18 cooks. His coronation was held at Westminster Abbey on the 20th of October 1714, but the following year his position was threatened by a Jacobite rebellion that sought to replace him with the Catholic James Edward Stuart. Despite securing the support of a few Tories in Westminster, the uprising was suppressed by the end of the year. In response, George turned to the Whigs, who went on to dominate British politics for the next few decades. Under the leadership of Robert Walpole, widely recognised as the first de facto Prime Minister, they began the shift towards the modern system of cabinet government that the UK still operates today. <laughs>